On August 4th, just after 10 a.m., officers were en route to a welfare check in the 1600 block of Parkmore Avenue. Upon arrival, they discovered an adult female uh, who was suffering from at least one stab wound. A second juvenile victim was located in the residence, and arriving medical personnel declared them deceased at the scene. Our homicide unit detectives immediately took up the investigation and have been doing so over the past weekend, trying to find more information, evidence, as well as possible witnesses to what happened and occurred that early morning hour. As of right now, I can confirm that this is a double homicide, number 23 and 24 for the year of 2023. The adult female in the uh, homicide is an elderly uh, female who is classified as the great-grandmother uh, of the juvenile victim. Other than that information, we aren't releasing much other details as it's still very early in the investigation. This is a very shocking and tragic incident that we uh, are investigating now. We hope to find a reasonable conclusion with more information from the public. We ask that anybody in the area who may have been around at that time, anybody who has cameras in the area, come forward and bring that video. Uh, even if they are not sure that it has anything evidentiary of value, bring that forward to a detective so that we can look at it ourselves and kind of go through the process of eliminating uh, uh, any kind of information we don't need versus potentially identifying a suspect who is not identified. The motive and circumstances behind this incident are still under investigation as I proceed with the investigation. Questions? It looked like there was a break-in in the home. You know, I, I don't have that information. I can tell you as a welfare check normally occurs, it's because somebody has called us in thinking that there might be a crime that has occurred, has uh, you know, a medical component to it. And that being said, that's what officers responded to that morning on the 4th, a welfare check. Uh, upon arrival, it was very clear that there was a crime scene, and afterwards they discovered the two uh, victims in the location. I don't have that information. <coughs> We don't have any information on the suspect at this time. I think as the investigation proceeds, detectives will provide that information to us as the media relations unit brings that information forward. So any updates uh, will come in the way of a press release, most likely. Yes? One person or more than one? Victims? I don't know. I don't have that information. No. I'm sorry. Yeah. You said you were going to mention something about the uh, emotion. Certainly. Obviously, as officers arrived to the scene and quickly discovered that there was an elderly female victim as well as a juvenile victim, it's not just traumatic to our officers that are going through the investigation, but also traumatic to the community as a whole. Um, anytime our community, especially in the city of San Jose, we're a very small city when it comes down to knowing one another, have to experience this type of loss, it can be traumatic, it can be painful, and uh, they have to be rest assured that our police officers and our detectives are the finest in the nation. They're going to work until they find a conclusion, a reasonable conclusion to this case. And that means having somebody or someone additional in custody and held up to trial for the crimes that have occurred. Uh, that being said, it's still very early in the investigation. And regardless of the emotional impact that it may have to the community, we're seeking justice for the loss of two lives.